Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates. It is an honor for me to be given the privilege to stand before you, the entire world, to say a few words about a man who was not just my friend and brother, but a man that brought me joy and that taught me so many things over the last five years of my life. There I was in 2016, and I was in a cell. I'd been detained by the government for political reasons and I started praying to God and the Lord ministered me clearly that I should stand firm. The following day in the afternoon, the warder came into my little cell and he said, somebody wants to speak to you. His name is Prophet T.B. Joshua. And I took the phone and I heard his voice. He said, my brother, be strong. God is with you. And he said to me that I should always remember that those that stand for Christ, that such people never fail or go down. So he wants to encourage me. He now said something that shocked me. He said, in three days' time, you are going to be released from there. And he told me that when you are released, never forget what God has done for you and continue to be strong. Ladies and gentlemen, three days later, I was released from that cell. I was released from detention. I've never been back since, and by God's grace, I will never go back to detention again in Jesus' name. The Bible said concerning Jesus that he went about doing good and healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. Does that remind you of anybody? Can you put your hands together for Father, for Daddy? If you tell me to point out one person that is living Practicing ministry like Jesus himself, the template that Jesus himself set. It is not record science. I'm not saying it to make anybody feel good. You know the truth. We are not here to mourn Pastor Joshua. We are here to mourn a nation who did not know the jewels she had within her grasp until she lost it. We are not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. We are here to mourn the many that he touched, the many that he supported. The many that he built up spiritually, financially, who turned out to be the ones to tarnish his image. I am not here to mourn Pastor T.B. Joshua. I am here to mourn the church who could not see beyond their envy and beyond their spite to learn humaneness, humility, true Christianity, and true service from this humble man of faith. Those are the people I am here to mourn. Prophet T.B. Joshua was a special gift from God to humanity. He was a herald of the gospel and an agent of transformation, economic empowerment, and spiritual liberation. For over 25 years, he has been a great source of inspiration. We thank God for the thousands of lives that were delivered from spiritual, social, and economic bondage through his ministry. He has fought a good fight, he has finished his course, and he has kept the faith. May his soul rest in peace, light, potential sign on him forever and ever. Amen. Prophet T.B. Joshua took me in over 10 years ago and financed my university and undergraduate studies and in postgraduate studies at Harvard Law School and the University of Cambridge, investing hundreds of thousands of dollars in my education. He taught me that his generosity towards me is not an end in itself, but that the end is the salvation of my soul. 
and he was simply pointing me towards Jesus Christ. I am Dr. Yinka Oduwale. Um, I'm actually a doctor and I emphasize the title doctor because um, I wouldn't be a doctor without daddy. And daddy took a big chance on me. In fact, I would say a big gamble. You may have not seen is the extent of, of his fatherly love to, towards me during my program. That his legacy is, is in part and his life would forever live on. Rest in power, daddy. I'm so glad that I met Prophet TV Joshua which is my father, I call him Baba. Daddy, you are not here, but I know your spirit is here. I'm so happy. Daddy, thank you. We of the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, CDHR, came to find out some years ago about a ministry founded in 1989, whose anchor was to change lives change nations and the world through reaching out with love. We were inspired to find out that the whole purpose of living was for each and every one of us to meet needs, solve problems, develop skills, transform lives, reconcile families and nations. It was quite instructive and uplifting. The man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, has made me more aware of God's presence in my life. The man of God was a great man and remains to be a great man. He is in our hearts and he is in this place. Let me say something jokingly before I say everything. I want to say that the man in the Senegal is a South Sudanese. Senior Prophet TV Joshua is a man from South Sudan. I was a witness of the words that Prophet TV Joshua spoke. Meanwhile, South Sudan was still within Sudan. I came here when we were still fighting with Sudan, when our former leader who fought the war was killed and we were afraid that the leader the president of today, General Salva Kiir, would be killed by our enemies again. And then I laid it before the prophet, and the prophet said, I've been waiting for you. And he said, this man, he will not die. And this man, he will give the people of South Sudan their independence. And today, General Salva Kiir is the one who gave us the independence on 2011. So that's the first thing that the world needs to know, that for South Sudan to come out of Sudan, it was a word from the man in the Senegal. Estamos aquí para dar tributo a nuestro padre, el profeta TV Joshua. We're here to uh, give our tribute to our father, TV Joshua. Nuestro Señor Jesucristo mandó a predicar el Evangelio a todas las naciones. Our Lord Jesus Christ sent us to take the gospel to all nations. Y también a establecer el reino de Dios sanando enfermos y echando fuera demonios. And to establish the kingdom, the kingdom of God healing the sick and delivering those that were tied. Y nuestro Padre en el Señor fue alguien muy obediente a Dios. And our Father in the Lord was somebody who was very obedient to the Lord. Agradezco a Dios por la vida del profeta Tibi Joshua, por su familia y por el gran equipo de Escoban. Que Dios los bendiga. I thank God for the life of Prophet TB Joshua, for his family, and for his team. God bless you. Standing with me here are the football players of my people football club, established by his blessed name, Ori, our father in the law, Senior Prophet TB Joshua, whose life and legacy we are celebrating today. This football club set up by our father is one of the numerous avenues through which he touched lives. On our own part, he took us off the streets and kept us away from the path of crime. And most importantly, he drew us closer to God for the salvation of our souls. So 
We are here today to express our condolences. I pray that the mercy, the blessings, and the favor and protection of God rest upon his family, his ministry, all the workers, all the partners, and everything he achieved in Jesus' name. I'm one of the Libya deportees. We are deported from Libya. The man of God has played a role in our lives that even when we go to the airport, we are stranded. No money to go back to our various states. He welcomed us here, gave us food, gave us shelter, and gave us money back to our state. Truly, he's a hero, he's a legend. He has left a legacy behind for us to follow. Legend don't die, but legend live. <laughs> I want to use this opportunity to tell the whole world, the nation, please, if you're in good position, just need to touch life. Just leg a good legacy that's unborn, that they will miss you. Good morning, church.